Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this model, we are going to focus on an overview of the software to program this controller. In this particular video, what we're going to do is to talk about the toolbar on the software. So, if we continue with the presentation, when we are in the software, we can see in the top these icons. So, if we click on the first one, we have all these possibilities to create a new project, open an existing one, which is the same as this one. We are here. Then we have the possibility to compare, open templates, go to the help, open more recent projects. And in here in save, we have different saves styles. We have the normal save, save as project and save as template. We also have the possibility to print the application. And then we have these ones. They are the easy ones cut, copy and paste. You can use this shortcut, the standard one. And then when you are working on the application, you can go back, okay, or can redo. And this one is one of the most important ones, which is the help that I'm going to show you in a few seconds how to do it. So once you are in the help, this one is very good, the tutorials that allow you to get access to all the videos that we have in our portal of Schneider Electric for the M221. Another toolbars or another components in the toolbars are these ones. When we are connected to the controller, okay, here we can select the controller that we want to connect with or the way that we want to connect with to the controller. Okay, for example, if we are using serial or we are using uh, the communication ports, the USB ports in your PC to connect to the PLC or you use the Ethernet communication, you can select from here and then connect to the controller. Or another option is to use this icon to open the simulation. Okay, And then if you click this again, it will stop. Once you are in the application, you can stop the PLC using this icon play it or initialize the controller with this one and this icon is to check your application so if we continue with this here we have the settings okay we have the auto save which is this one is important if you have any problem with your laptop or you just crash your windows crash you can use this to save in, the, in different intervals of time and this one if it's you this is good when you use different applications okay and you use the same Ethernet port then you can change this to avoid any problems in your application then we have the configuration from the ladder editor we can proceed with the configuration of which is the PLC that you want to work with when you open a new project using this, it would automatically select the controller that you select in this part. And then we have the activation. For example, if you are in another country and you need to use one of these controllers, the N200 or N100, you can use this activation code to activate these controllers. And then we have the uh, smart encoding. Okay. So you can enable this option when you are typing and it will automatically complete. So what I want you to do is to save the actual project, go to the settings and change the default controller to the one that you're going to work with, enter into the help and select the tutorial to check the videos that we have, and then you can activate the local offer using this code. So let's go back to the software so I can show you a few things. So in here, as I show you, I just tell you before, we have the option to save, to the option to save the project and open a new project if you want. So what happens if we select save? If we select save, we can see this window. And here on the top and the bottom, we can see the name of the project. Okay, 
we can say the name of the project and then there is something important here which is the extension the extension uh, uh, is smbp and this is it's important to know this because when you want to connect for example to one of our hmis for example uh, the hmis that you can use in bgl designer or in eco structure operator terminal expert what you can do is to import this file into the software of the HMI so you can read all the information which is a easy way to transfer all the data if we continue with this as I showed you before we have the templates okay there are different templates for different kind of applications okay you can get here uh, for example mm -hmm, modern master you can select the one that you want and open the template then something important here is the help as always the help so on but this option is very important the contextual help when you select this contextual help you can select one element on the software and it gives you further information for example if you don't know what this system bits you can click on here it will open the help directly on the topic that you want system bits okay so you can read more about it and you have all the system bits that you want so if you don't if you don't know something in particular on the software the contextual help is a very useful tool to work with then system user guides and this one is the other important one the tutorials when you click on here you can get access to the so machine basic tutorial or now is called the eco structure machine expert basic and you have different videos about how to use the software just close this then here you have the different devices that you have already defined in, in the commissioning you see I have these four you can select the one you want to connect and then you can connect with this icon and the other one this one is to launch the simulator in this case I have an error okay close okay, integrate this just quickly to show you one no errors over there so now I can launch the simulator and if I click this one okay as you can see here the status on the top okay it's in stop the scan time and no stop reason then I can play with this play it's in run all the information is in here okay so now I'm going to stop the simulator and that's it okay so let me just go back to the presentation to see if I forgot something no that's it for this part so this is it this is important that you know how to save the project how to launch a simulator how to easily connect or direct connect to the device if you want to and then the contextual help and I think that that's it so this is it for this part of the video for the overview thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one